Hi, y'all. So I thought I would start a series. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to go, but a series that would feel a little bit more grounded in like the practical experience. Um, and right now, what I'm noticing is all of the mixed emotions that are coming up. Of course, we're going through grief during this time. Um, and so I'm going to deal with or ask spirit for guidance and potentially comfort uh, for each emotion that might be coming up for you. Um, I just did a practice session on myself, if you will. I, I got three new decks to move through this uh, period and hopefully longer and into the future, and I was blown away. So um, I also asked for guidance in how long um, each or this series should extend into. And I was repeatedly shown 416 through 516. And I kept asking and asking and asking. And um, it is okay for there to be like a little, you know, the time before that and a little bit after that, but for whatever reason, this is really, I just kept, I just kept being shown 416 through 516. So I don't know what, what's coming up. I don't, I don't know why that is, but I have a list of 10 different, um, emotions that we're going to be dealing with. And this one right now is around feeling scared. Okay. So uh, I'm going to pause this moment again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, is there a play? Okay. Okay. <sighs> Forgive my technological issues, um, if you will. Um, okay, so if you're feeling scared, what is the issue? Okay, we've got Queen of Wands. Interesting. Uh, I wonder why Queen of Wands... I'm going to get, I'll take a clarifier, but I'm going to say that initially there's a sense normally or ordinarily that, you know, we are free and empowered and able to, um, go forth and create uh, whatever we want to, whatever we're, we feel passionate about. And um, it could be that you're feeling stuck or we're feeling stuck. Oh, yeah. Because... Um, We can't do that currently. Uh, the Justice card came out as the clarifier. And this card, the Justice card is uh, number eight rather than 11. It could be that you are recognizing and potentially afraid of the 
shifts in power, uh, power dynamics in, um, you may be recognizing that everything that you have known before is being challenged maybe the people that you've known and maybe including yourself um, you've known yourself to be assertive strong vibrant um, you're now seeing in yourself the other side the um, the other side of you, maybe even, that is hidden, that does feel uh, powerless sometimes, that does feel scared of being seen in their vulnerability. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I feel like there's just this knowing within you that's scaring you that there could be a evening out, if you will. A balancing out of and even a healing that maybe you know maybe you know we need and it's scary to even think about it it's scary to acknowledge like this is potentially this is you know really here and while I'm normally a very confident assertive strong individual I just I can't do anything right now and it's scary to me okay so um what can we do if we are feeling scared at this time okay interesting um, let me show you the two cards for the situation, okay? So we got the Queen, then we got the Clarifier of Justice. Take a look at that and see what you see. Here's your own intuition. Why am I scared? See that black cat there? It's kind of the guardian, right? Guardian of the secrets. I, it's just what's coming to me right now. Uh, okay. And then we got the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Empress. What this is saying to me in order to help you to deal with feeling afraid is one, two, um, Really focus on how you can um, work with others right now. Be there for others, work with others, collaborate with others. Um, understand that you are a creator, mind, body, spirit. You are connected 100% to all that is. And... Um, uh, there's something going on with Venus right now, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. But the Empress has the Venus sign here, right? And um, she is the uh, 
Divine Feminine. She is the culmination of all the queens in the deck. So we have the Queen of Cups here, the Queen of Emotion, Compassion, Nurturing. Um, and she's so focused. She's very, also very intuitive. And I think that um, this is asking you to really connect with your highest self and understand that working compassionately with people or sending out compassion to others, um, focusing on others, focusing on your creative capabilities will help you to stay out of sort of this like very self, you know, the queen of the queen of wands, she's a little bit of a diva, right? So, which is, it's fine on one hand, but if she gets too little like self-absorbed, that's where it starts to go to the dark side. And um, uh, maybe she's needing to balance that out a little bit and really switch her focus to um, others, right? But we'll see. Yeah, and what you want to create and bring into the world. What do you want to create and bring into the world? So rather than sit around and think about all the things that you're afraid of that are coming, meditate, envision, send out to the world what it is that you want to create. And you can do that in many different ways. Um, even if it is sitting in your home and meditating and sending that energy out, or it can be in you know, rallying up uh, some funds and making donations or uh, uh, going out and volunteering in areas where there is a need um, for uh, help or support or, you know, whatever that, that is and that looks like. Okay, so what is the potential outcome here? So much feminine energy here. Okay. A time of rest. And bottom of the deck is the high priestess. An understanding. Praying and meditating. Staying in meditation. Rest. Prayer. Trusting in um, the karmic balance of justice and that uh, whatever is happening, whatever we're needing to deal with is for our highest good. Um, connecting to your intuitive self rather than being afraid of it. Okay. Um, See, let's get a little, get some help. This is, what is this deck called? The Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. Brand new deck, just cracked it open today and, you know, did my cleansing and clearing and blessing practice with it. Um, So let's see if we can get some help from animal spirits. What is help? Help to deal with this feeling of fear. Okay, off the top of the deck. Ooh, butterfly spirit. All right, transformation is beautiful. Okay. Um, transformation is beautiful. Butterfly spirit. Can we get help to move through this fear? Sometimes we know work with fear, right? Uh,
I'll read right out of the book. Joy and the beautiful likeness of being alive and creative in the world is the focus when butterfly spirit flutters before you. Transformation is inevitable as you grow into your most beautiful, empowered self. Indeed, you will go through some uncomfortable stages as you let go of the forms of your life that no longer fit the new you. Even relationships must go through shifts to match your new emerging self. If you focus on the beauty and not the challenges, stop taking yourself too seriously and choose to be playful, loving, and joyous, you will soon know the miracle your soul wants to experience through you. Today is a day for joy, so a light. Look around and see the beauty that is everywhere and in everyone, including you. Transformation does not have to be as traumatic or dramatic as things may seem to be right now. Remember, change is the only true constant. When you resist it, you create a tension within you as you refuse to accept the inevitable. In this moment, you might have forgotten the beauty and joy of life as it moves through its seasons as nature dictates. Nature, nature, karmic, right, balancing and connected with all that is, right? I mean, there's so much feminine um, energy here. It's, it's crazy. This is about understanding, you know, intuitively uh, your connection to the ebbs and flows of life and that you are a co-creator, okay? And so, yes, things are changing, changing for all of us um, and whatever you have thought about yourself um, uh, you may need to let go of I'm not gonna there's just a little bit more to read I'm not gonna read that okay now this is from the keepers of the light Oracle deck by Kyle Gray I think it's Kyle Gray um, Okay, so we'll get a message. These are all of our higher beings, ascended masters. Get a message. Okay, Lord Ganesh. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Ganesh, also known as, I can't, I cannot pronounce it, but he, Ganesh, is the Hindu elephant-headed god, the son of Lord Shiva and the goddess Parvati. Legend says he received his elephant head as a replacement after his father sliced his one human, his human one off when he mistook him for an intruder. Ganesh is acknowledged as the Lord who removes obstacles and is much loved by taxi drivers in India because he, they believe he helps them weave in and out of the crazy traffic. Ganesh is a sweet-toothed, life-loving, joyful, dancing, and very approachable God. He will use his light to weave a perfect path for you. It's important at this time to move beyond the limitations of it's not meant to be and focus on if this is for my highest good, then the universe will take me there safely. Ganesh is not only bringing a clear light to your external situation, but also helping you clear up any inner conflicts. When obstacles arise, know that they are just reminders that you care about your path and that you have the ability to change your current situation. Ganesh is here to help you. Thank him for clearing the way. Uh, so again, I think this is about, you know, really how you think you're thinking about your situation. And taking some time to really connect with that intuitive, very powerful part of yourself. Okay. 
that can redirect and focus on something outside of yourself. Um, action cancels fear and focus on others uh, very much will give you um, a sense of uh, purpose and power where you might feel that you're losing power. Okay. And let's get one card from um, uh, Postcards from Spirit, also by Colette Baron reed Okay. Dearest you, you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill. But first you need to know that destiny isn't a destina destination. You don't arrive at some special place where poof, you're perfect and happy all the time. It's about establishing and firming up a commitment to a certain experience, whatever form that takes. Your soul knows that you need to, ex to experience. Your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures, to discover your talents and full potential through allowing inspiration to lead you and to risk standing apart from the crowd to listen to your soul. You are special as much as you are also paradoxically one with the world, individual yet part of a great whole. Both truths have led you to this moment where we are saying you are on the right track, even if your ego self doesn't see that. Listen to your soul, check in with your spirit, and keep going. So lots of connecting to your spirit and understanding that Whatever you had known or wherever you thought you were going, and if this is, feels like the rug is being pulled out from underneath you, understand that, no, being where you are is part, is your destiny. Um, it's your destiny to be here right now at this time, and you get to decide what you're going to do with that. Okay, dear one. Um, if you are experiencing any other emotions, which I'm sure you are, um, feel free to uh, listen to the other videos for more uh, support uh, and guidance and comfort. Okay, honey, be you, you matter. You, the fact that you are here, you are 100% needed in this place and time. Um, we need you, thank you so much.